chapter 27 compassion for the homeless having somewhere to go is home having someone to love is family having both is blessing and no my husband of 46 years has always been a man who selfishly helps others he inherited this from his parents who were also kind and giving and set an example throughout this childhood of how easy it is to find a need and feel it i have witnessed his outwardly generous acts of kindness on many occasions in the past and it always fosters warm emotions in my heart as well as in those who are the recipients of this kindness my husband has a soft spot in his heart for the homeless he works in the settle and drives all day through the downtown area where there are countless destitute folks standing in the cold rain on the corners holding signs asking for help we have both had unfortunate experiences in which we helped someone only to realize later that it was a scam my husband has found a way around this his he buys large bags of new thick socks at costco and keeps them under the seat in his van instead of giving money to the sign carriers he has them in them a pair of socks can you imagine what clean soft socks would mean to someone who is homeless to have warm fresh dirt free food protection is an example gift but meaningful in unknown ways to the recipient most of the time he is greeted with a thanks man or a god bless accompanied by a warm smile the heart to heart connection is deeply moving to both the giver and the receiver another way he helps the homeless is to pick someone up of the street and take them into a restaurant sit with them and buy them lunch or dinner he engages the person in conversation and lets them know the awardee my husband and his guests quiet often receive worry or hungry hungry stares from other patrons because the homeless person is usually not dressed appropriately and most likely is a bit grimy for dining my accommodating husband proudly escorts his new friend to a both where he tells his friend to order anything of the menu the time together usually consists of conversation which often bring to light the person's story or simply eating in compatible silence so this is what the person wants the much needed full belly and human validation are warm reminders reminders of our connection to every soul on earth no matter what our paths in life a few years ago my husband decided he wanted a change from our thanksgiving tradition and asked if i would mind serving the homeless with him at a shelter in settle i felt this would be a welcome break from the large family gatherings and traditional gluttony so i heartily agreed when we got to the shelter there was an overabundance of helpers so we were feeling a bit misplaced my husband saw large boxes of oranges and apples and asked the servers if we could take them to the street and hand them out to those who had declined the shelter meal they agreed and we headed out to pioneer square in the pouring rain to give our small offerings to the to the most destitute souls in our city we met drug addicts alcoholics and mentally ill and depressed 
folks. I was hesitant to approach them but followed my husband lead and found these humans to be approachable, likable, and gracious. This experience was a gift to me from my husband and I cherish the unexpected connections still. As a Vietnam veteran and a retired Coast Guard man, my husband also has a warm spot in his heart for the hardships of military personnel and their families. We were in a restaurant once when a, a clean-cut young man in uniform came in with his wife, two small children, and parents. Because of the joy and closeness the family exhibited, it was obvious that he had just returned from overseas and might even be deploying again soon. We watched to them asking in the simple ritual of dining together and wondered what their story was when the waitress came with our check chick chick check my husband said he wanted to pay anonymously for the entire family meals family's meal we sat and watched as the waitress told the man his chick was taken care of a look of surprise and astonishment flickered across his face and then his eyes slowly scanned the room until he recognized a kindred soul in my husband as the family got up to leave he came over to the table and saluted salute my husband who returned the salute for me this was a goose bump god bump moment and still brings tears to my eyes when i relate it it is easy to give your heart to others it does not take great effort or even require that you reveal that you have done so if you look around you will see many opportunities to give a compliment or just smile at a stranger our world is in desperate need of loving kindness and heart-to-heart -heart human contact I learned this from my husband on a daily basis and I'm blessed to, to have him as a shining example of what it means to be human by Margie Passero.